Hello, uh, let's review my next uh, rigs and uh, let's start from this bird. You can see it flies pretty uh, much nice, it's convincing and let's see what I did with rigging. Okay, first you can notice that I have these parts that actually convince player that wings is turning in the other way. Uh, I wouldn't recommend to use mesh deformation keys uh, rather than uh, you do bindings. But in devices, on high-end devices like PC or consoles, it's, uh, it doesn't cost too much on the performance. So be careful uh, when you are actually keying. Imagine that each key is actually is doing calculation for each point in this mesh. So be careful. Okay, let's see the wing itself is very easy. It's basically a chain of I key, one bond I key. It's uh, just to control the joints and the wings itself is one piece of an image that listens to these bones, these main bones. Okay, so each target contains next set of chain and so each chain is constructed with one bond I key. You may see this target contains the bone and uh, the target of this actually <coughs> I key contains the next bone. That's it, let's move to the next character. We have a fox here. Uh, it's some kind of magical fox. You can see uh, already a very familiar rig on the feet. Uh, it's actually... Oh, let me update these bindings. Okay, so this is actually controlling the, the parent of this target bone, which is uh, controller of this basic I key and similarly here we have this bone that can be controlled and rotated and we have also these bones that similarly you can see that there is additional bone set uh, I key for the backside of the tie uh, and the uh, leg so this actually helps to not break this backside of the leg okay it, it works like a, simulates a kind of muscle back muscle so this is basically I key which target is parented to this bone you may see in the hierarchy <clears throat> the next comes the tail it's a basic uh, bones that follow on the pad, the constraint on the pad. Uh, also, additionally, I have two big uh, arms of the I key that are actually control the pad. So you, we may see that. Uh, let me select the pad. We may see that the pad is actually being uh, controlled by these two bones, and also the th third one. So, the which of course allow us to control the lamp, which is, I think, uh, yeah, uh, which is uh, controlling yeah, by this bone and the path itself bending according to this bone. Uh, it's, it's not super flexible, it will get uh, broken on if you stretch too much, but it works fine for like bouncy effect like this, but basically it is doing this. Okay, so let's lastly uh, cover these spine bones. Um, they are again simple I key with the softness on high value. This is actually the reason why these bones are not directly targeting to this because they are actually they they have a smoothness a softness value if we actually reduce it they uh, go to this point so similar for these wings uh, these bones
Okay, now let me, let me see. Let's unhide the bones. Okay, yes, they also have uh, mix value reduced. So if we uh, basically when you create the IK, the mix value is on high, hundred uh, percent. So if it's hundred and reducing the mix uh, softness, it's actually will exactly pointing to this target point. Okay, this is it. So it helps us to bend the spine naturally uh, as it would do. And we have also this controller. So mainly when it works, I can just uh, control these two bones, this one and this one bounces and the other bounces uh, uh, a little bit offset it. Uh, and that's it. Uh, I think we also have the face head shearing. It's like basic stuff. And I think, yeah, that's, that's it for this lamp. I also, it's, it's very similar to head shearing. So the technique is the same. Okay, that's it. Thank you.